Hello everyone, it's me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, filling in for my good friend Lasercorn, and I thought that- Aha! It wasn't Obi-Wan Kenobi at all, it was I, Lasercorn, in a clever disguise. I'll give you a moment to recover from this obvious shock. Recovered yet? No? Too bad, because I'm about to run through my top five favorite video game disguises. Here we go! Five. Starting off the list is a disguise that I just really hate. It's the Creeper skin in Minecraft, and it is the worst. When someone is wearing the skin around you, it makes your heart jump out of your chest every time you turn around really fast and see a creeper standing right next to you. Yes, I know it doesn't look exactly like a creeper, it doesn't have four legs, and there's a name above its head usually, but in the heat of battle, when you're fighting skeletons or zombies or whatever, and you turn around real fast to see this thing next to you, it causes some panic. And it's this potential for trolling that earns it a spot on my list. Four. Number four on this list is an adorable disguise perpetrated by two kids who are just trying to get into art school, but end up becoming the most hated historical figure of all time. Double Hitler follows the brothers Schlickelgruber as they try to convince everyone that they are in fact a grown adult with a passion for art. When this ultimately fails, they become angry and decide the only solution is complete and total world domination. And at no point do any of the Nazis suspect that they are in fact two children dressed up as Hitler. Boy are those Nazis dumb. Dumb, dumb Nazis. My Führer, what they say is unheuerlich. The Kriminalität is the Geschmalz des Deutschen Volkes. Coming in at number three, we have a disguise from Ocarina of Time, or Oot, as I like to call it. And I gotta put a spoiler alert on this, because it's a spoiler. But if you haven't beaten Ocarina of Time by now, what are you doing with your life? The character Sheik helps Link out in this adventure, but it is later revealed that Sheik is not just some dude who loves to rock out on the leer, but also the alter ego of Princess Zelda herself. Seriously, that's a good disguise. It had me fooled. I was absolutely sure that Cheek was a dude. I mean, there's gotta be some taping down or something going on in this region. Maybe magic, because that dude had zero boobage. None at all. Two. Moving on to number two, we have Agent 47 of the Hitman series, rocking a funky chicken. Now, Agent 47 has worn many disguises in his years as a stealthy Hitman. For instance, I really enjoyed being a scarecrow in Hitman Absolution, but something about running around murdering people as this giant chicken just makes me happy. Actually, come to think of it, it looks a little bit like one of those things in Five Nights at Freddy's. So ah! Anyway, the chicken suit is also an easter egg in Absolution, but you don't actually get to kill anyone while wearing it, so it's more fun to play as the chicken in Blood Money. Man, that's one angry chicken. Must be from the Zelda games. One. And number one on the list, you guys probably saw this coming, it's the box! The Metal Gear Solid Box, the greatest box of all time! Four little cardboard walls that make you completely invisible to the enemy. There's nothing funnier than sneaking up behind some poor unsuspecting bastard and then snapping their pathetic henchman necks as you pop out of that box. The box is what Snake is most known for and why he will always be the best character in the Metal Gear franchise. Oh what, this guy is a cyber ninja with a suit that makes him invisible? Lame as f**k when compared to the majesty of this awesome cardboard box. Even Raiden, a freeing cyborg with awesome hair and a sword that cuts through solid steel, had to borrow the box to up his awesome factor in Revengeance. It's actually funny if you have the mariachi outfit and the box, because then you can be a box with a sombrero on it. A Mexican box, El Boxo. Should be an entire game developed around El Boxo. I would play it. Further. There you have it. That's my top five favorite disguises in video games. If you guys want to let me know what your favorite disguises are, go ahead and tweet me at Lasercorn. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you guys like those disguises, maybe you'll like Top 5 Hats with Flitz. Check it out over here. Or you could watch me play The Sims with Ian and Anthony. Either way.